after nine years of flying FPV drones on my channel, today we're gonna to talk about the best indoor drones that you can buy in 2023. Well, it's pretty much raining and snowing everywhere. So today we're gonna to do an indoor best of video for ready to fly drones and for bind and fly. If you already have a radio, you don't need the FPV goggles and batteries. We're gonna do a bind and fly category and the ready to fly category for guys who are just getting into FPV. It'll have everything in one box for you to learn how to fly FPV. And starting indoors is one of the most crucial ways to get started and be a successful FPV pilot. So I started indoors, line of sight, and then I moved up to FPV and eventually outdoors where I was pulling my drones out of trees. And you'll probably do that yourself coming up uh, as you progress in this hobby. But it's a super fun hobby to get into. And today with this video, I just wanna be able to lead you guys in the right direction. Also, if you're just getting into FPV, be sure to check out our link down below. If you're in Discord, click that link and you can sign into the Drone Camps FPV Discord. There's a ton of guys in there. We have an admin, we have tech support, and we have a ton of guys that participate on the regular 24 hours a day and talking about FPV, it's super fun. So Discord, check us out there. If you wanna become a Patreon on the channel and you enjoy these tutorials, articles, and all the different stuff that we do on the Drone Camps channel, please do that as well. We're trying to up the Patreon this year. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started with the first category, which is gonna be ready to fly indoor drones, the best picks for 2023. Okay guys, the first ready to fly bundle that we're gonna talk about that you can't go wrong with is the Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 FPV Racing Drum Bundle. It is ready to fly. It comes with a controller, goggles. It has a removable goggle panel on there that you can take on and off. You can use it for FPV in the box goggles, or you can take it off and use it as a monitor while recording your videos. That is super cool. This version has an upgraded controller as well in comparison to the older one that had the bubble style gimbals. This has more realistic feeling gimbals and it has some upgrades to the quad as well. So this one flies super good indoors. People love this one and it's so light that it kind of bounces off things when you're flying around. One of the things about this one versus some of the other ones out there that have vertical motors on them, upward facing motors. This one has downward facing motors and characteristically that flies extremely stable and indoors inverted motors do really well. They perform really well and there's not a lot of wind to affect them. A lot of the cinema drones that you'll see out there also use these inverted motors. They just fly a lot more stable and they're a lot more forgiving to you as a beginner. So it comes with a charger in the box. It has a four up charger as well, extra props. You get some different style mounts in the box and you get the Emacs 1S 450 battery. That's gonna give you probably about a three minute flight time per battery. This one comes in at around $298 and 99 cent and it's absolutely loved by the drone camps fpv community now up next we have the cetus x fpv ready to fly bundle kit it comes in around 309 dollars and 99 cent and this one also includes a pair of 5.8 fpv goggles with a dvr on board it can switch different 48 channels you can have up to about six of these flying at once inside the house you can make a course and do racing inside the house. But what's great about the Cetus X, in my opinions, well, you can take it outdoors as well. So it kind of has duality. We talk about that a lot on the channel. And this drone supports 2S battery. You can fly a 2S 450 on this baby and you can get around four and a half minutes flight time with this one and it'll give you more power and boost. It also has a much larger VTX, which is going to give you much more power at 400 milliwatt on that VTX. So 2S power is much better um, be able to get 400 milliwatt versus 25 milliwatt on a 1s drone so it's not going to drain the battery with the 2s and you're getting much much further range and distance out of this one it also has a tiltable camera on top you can tilt it by hand and it also supports beta flight so you can put it on beta flight make changes to your osd you can add your pilot name but most importantly we had a lot of fun with this one flying indoors because well it's super stable but when you really want to crank it up and take it outside when it does fly finally stop raining. It's a great freestyler as well. So it will be a great acro trainer. We're going to talk about that in an acro article coming out tomorrow on the channel as well. You'll be able to see that on dronecamps.com to read about how to learn to fly acro. 
And our number one ready to fly bundle in 2023, still to this day, after almost three years as the reigning king, is gonna be the Gap RC Tiny Go. Now, I know recently we talked about the Cetus X and how great that was, and we, we picked that one as our number one choice back in January. But this drone right here is still a big contender, mainly because it has 5.8 goggles with DVR. It has a 4K onboard recording system that you can record videos straight to a micro SD card, which I love. And a lot of people love the Cadex Loris on board. You can get several different options for mode one, mode two, that's just throttle on the left or throttle on the right. And you can also get a cheaper version of this that only records 1080p video. So I have to say that this one's probably the biggest value. It has also has a 400 milliwatt VTX on there, similar to to the Cetus X as well, but everyone loves the TinyGo 4K. If you want to save some money, like I said, get the 1080p version. We'll put the links down below to both different versions of this kit. This kit absolutely flies awesome indoors. You can make small gaps, make a course around your house and have a ton of fun with this one. It also comes with some foam bumpers on the edges that will give you just a little more durability as a beginner. And like I said before, when you're learning acro, when you learn to fly acro outdoors, you're probably gonna break things. And with these foam bumpers, it's gonna make it bounce off things. You want a lighter quad to start out when you're learning to fly acro. That is super important. So the Tiny Go is our number one top pick for ready to fly FPV drone kits in 2023. And now guys, we're moving on to the bind and fly category. We have some bind and flies on the bench right here. We're gonna talk about these. These are the ones that you wanna get if you already have a radio. So these are community approved in the drone camps, FPV community. People love these. And these are the ones you can't go wrong for bind and fly category for 2023. Let's go ahead and get started with the first of five. Now our first of three in the bind and fly category is the Flywoo Firefly Nano Baby 40 millimeter 1.6 Dead Cat 1S Micro Whoop. Now this little guy can fly indoors or outdoors and some people might call this a micro brushless because well, it doesn't have prop guards on it, but you can get prop guards for this, I believe. Uh, I have to find a link for that, but it is only in stock on one website out there right now. It's getfpv.com. They have an ELRS version, which you can also put your own receiver on if you want to do some handy dandy soldering. Uh, if you're not up with soldering, just make sure you have an express LRS type of module or radio. That way you can bind this little guy up and start flying. This one comes in at $154.99. And I have to tell you, this thing has a super long flight time of around 10 minutes, which most people super, super love. It also has that GNB 27 V2 connector on there. So you're gonna have to have a certain type of battery to be able to fit on this quad. And I'll put some links down below for those batteries. But I think this one has great performance, long flight times. It flies super stable in angle mode indoors, and it also rips outside in acro mode. So this would be a great outdoor acro trainer after it finally stops raining. But for indoor fun, we had so much fun with the Firefly Baby Nano, and it is crazy tiny. And I really love the Dead Cat version. There's also an X version you can get. I'll try to put the link down below for that one, but I prefer the Dead Cat just because it looks cool, and it seems like it's almost smaller in size than the Meteor 6.5 from Beta FPV. This thing is super tiny, and it has a carbon frame. It is just super cool. And now we're moving on to the Happy Model Mo Beetle 6. This is the 65 millimeter AIO Whoop that has an F4 flight controller on board. And this one comes in at around $127.99, bind and fly. You can get it in Free Sky or you can get it in either S versions. It does ship from Banggood and appears to be in stock right now, which is kind of crazy. It has 4.9 stars and nine different reviews on this model. I like this one because it has the versatility of being able to do the carbon frame setup for outdoor ripping as a micro brushless, or you can put the plastic frame on there, which is super cheap. You can fly that indoors and it's a little bit lighter and bounces just a little bit better for beginners and probably is a little more durable than the carbon frame version. Uh, I have broken the smaller carbon frames on some of these types of quads before. So if you're a beginner, start up 
with the plastic frame, it's only 17 grams, and it's still, it's way under actually some of my first Tiny Whoop builds in around 20 grams. So it's, it's amazing that you can buy something right now. Um, even the carbon frame one looks a little bit lighter actually at 15 grams. So uh, it rips, it has br brushless motors on here, it has analog video. You don't have to have DJI goggles to be able to fly this one. And it will fly super smooth indoors in angle mode. And then when you're ready for some acro training fun, you can take this one outside and fly this one like a true acro trainer. So it has great reviews. The Drone Camps FPV community loves this one. They talk about it on the Discord. And a lot of people seem to love Happy Model, Micro Brushless, and Tiny Whoop. So you're good to go there. Now let's go ahead and move on to our number one pick for Bind and Fly drone for 2023 early 2023 and we're going to talk about a drone that i have had in my shop since i got it i have not let go of this one and i just can't because it is so lightweight it has a great little replaceable frame on here it's plastic it's around 20 grams total takeoff weight with a battery uh it, it's it's amazing you can get an ELRS version of this one a free sky tbs crossfire free sky ldt and you can get a futaba version um, all starting about 109 dollars this is the meteor 65 brushless tiny whoop you can get the 2022 version it also comes with a little bit of a camera mount on top of it but i don't know what camera you're going to put on a 65 millimeter whoop it does have brushless micro motors on here and it has an f4 1s 5 amp flight controller as of the 2022 update so uh, also we have some brand new updated motors that are zero two 02, 0802, excuse me, SE, 19,500 kV motors. Those higher kV motors will really give it a, a nice power to weight ratio when you do some outdoor acro flying and practice your first flips and rolls in acro. You're gonna love this. It has a lot of stability to it. Uh, the total takeoff weight with the battery, by the way, is gonna be 22.8 grams. So it is a little bit heavier than the Mobile 6. But this one, in my opinion, flew the best. I could get the best gaps indoors with this one. And this one just became one of my, my all-time favorites so quickly. So as far as the bind and fly category, you can't go wrong with this one at four minutes flight time. The batteries are cheap. They also use the BT 2.0 connector, which is a little bit better voltage. Uh, you don't have as much voltage sag on this type of connector as you did the old PH 2.0 connectors. So use the BT 2.0 batteries from Beta FPV. They're 1S 300 milliamp batteries. And again, you're gonna be able to uh, get around a four minute flight time with that and get a bag full of these and you're gonna have a ton of fun. They have a few different chargers that you can get. And we'll put some of these chargers and kits for the Meteor 6.5 down below in the video description. And now that you guys know what the best bind and fly and ready to fly bundles are out there, this is the honorable mention drones that we want to mention in this review. These are a little bit bigger and I have to say, the Meteor 85 is also one of the most stable and fun flying little quads out there. I still have this one. Uh, you can get several different versions of this one. It has the camera mount on top and just a little bit larger quad makes it a little more stable. But also when you take it outside, it's gonna have a, a little bit better handling in some wind. Uh, so if you, if you haven't flown in wind before, watch out, it can be kind of challenging and it will kind of push you to one side or the other. That's gonna be something that you have to practice. I also want to talk about the Gap RC Cinelog 20. This one is one of our best selling 4K stabilized platforms for cinema flying. So if you wanna fly indoors and do single shot fly through for real estate, restaurants or nightclubs or bars, Cinelog 20 is about to sell out all over again. Uh, this one has DJI O2 support or O3 support on here. It has SD card support and it has a built-in uh, onboard DVR with internal storage up to 20 gigabytes. So that's really awesome. Rocksteady 2.0 is also on here. They have a floating camera platform. I've done a whole review on each of these drones. So if you want to go back and check out the review for the Cinelog 20, the Meteor 85, the, the Mob Beetle, the 1S Firefly, or the Beta FPV Meteor 6.5, please do that. Um, you're going to you're gonna have a, a ton of information on the channel and, and please do become a subscriber. Let me know which one you get uh, for your indoor flying. And hopefully this video gives you an updated perspective on what's good in 2023, what to pick up and what to avoid. 
But I appreciate you watching the channel, and if you love the content, please do become a Patreon. You can check out my links down below for Patreon and all of these drones that we talked about on the channel today. Guys, I'm Justin Davis. Look out this Friday for the Darwin FPV giveaway. That bundle's giving away uh, live on a live stream uh, at 11 a.m., 12 p.m., possibly uh, on this channel. So don't reply to any comments that say you won you'll see me tell you exactly who won on Friday coming up. So stay tuned. I'm Justin Davis. Guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.